Hi, I'm Chris Byler. I'm your student's English teacher this semester at uh, Cacalico. Um, I would love to have been able to have a normal back to school night. Uh, this is a replacement I think can cover most of the important stuff. I would encourage you to reach out to me uh, for any reason at chrisviler.cacalico.org. I can get back to you very quickly that way. If you prefer a phone call, you can certainly call me at the school and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, some of the big things, the questions that come up, the things that students might ask early on that parents uh, also find uh, helpful. The first thing is the format of this course is, um, there's a lot of variety. There are a lot of different things that are covered. There are uh, elements of nonfiction. We tried to bring in um, real world examples of ideas. I try to bring in a lot of choice. Um, almost everything that we do in here, there are different options, whether that's different articles or different short stories, different uh, pieces of fiction, that sort of thing. Uh, I think that's really, really important that students are able to find things that stand out to them, that appeal to them, that kind of spark some interest, and then in turn, uh, hopefully bring those back to the class, um, which, which I think we all kind of benefit from. So it's not a choice. The class does move pretty quickly, move from one thing to the next. I always tell the students it's an opportunity to demonstrate a lot of maturity. If there's something that you don't love, um, chances are that pretty quickly we'll be on to something else that's a little bit different. Um, so uh, we, we do a lot of those things. As far as uh, the format of grading, there are not many tests in here. There's not a lot of studying you know, off the top of your head, what did you memorize about this book or this article or this discussion, this speech, something like that. Um, it's a lot of projects. It's a lot of discussion. A lot of the resources are still available to you. What are you able to say about those, that sort of thing. Um, so if testing is a particular concern, that's not something that will be um, a, a recurring issue in here. Uh, not a lot of testing and quizzes, but we do have a lot of discussions, a lot of projects, a lot of things that, that are um, students have time to prepare. I always, always offer students the opportunity to redo an assignment for a higher grade, whether, it, like, you know, we failed this uh, quiz or this, quiz aren't likely, whether we failed this project uh, and we want to redo it, or, you know, maybe, hey, I, I got a C on this, I want to hold myself to a higher standard, so I'm going to redo it. Uh, I think that's very, very important in life. Obviously, it's, it's cliche, but we learn from our mistakes. If the first uh, couple times I failed my driver's test, uh, they said, you know, we'll get some good walking shoes because you're not going to drive. That, that's not how we do things. Um, and I think we learn from where did I make a mistake? How can I go back? How can I get better at that? I'm very willing to work with students as they need that. So please encourage your child to seek that, to, to hold that high standard and to work uh, to get that. Um, I think it's very, very important that we have discussion um, between the school and the home. Um, I think, you know, I, I have questions about my kids and what they're doing in their classes. I'm thankful that their teachers, uh, they're in first grade and third grade, but so it's a little different. But I'm very thankful their teachers are responsive and their teachers are open and their teachers are um, letting us know what's going on in the classroom so that we can reinforce that at home and vice versa. Uh, while high schoolers have different needs, I love those uh, lines of communication. I love hearing from parents. I love, uh, hey, what, uh, what are you doing with this? Or I heard this um, topic came up. How is that handled? How is that addressed? Please don't hesitate to contact me even about things that, you know, maybe a little bit minimal. I think that's a very healthy way um, for students' educations to be uh, supported at home and at school. Uh, those are the big things. If you have questions about curriculum, if you have questions about grades, if you have questions about any of that stuff, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm looking forward to a great rest of the semester with your students. Uh, thank you for uh, all you do. Thanks.